know something that happens to me a lot, Daisy Gold? Something that happens to me a lot is that I post pictures of kittens with cute, chunky tummies, just like yours. Toot, 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 toot. And people will say, oh no, that kitten's tummy is too chunky. <laughs> so I thought I would make a little video about chunky tummies and when it's a good thing, when it's a bad thing, how to know the difference. My chonk, my chonk, my chonk, my chonk, my lovely tummy chonk. So let's look at some tummies. This is Ranger Russet and Ranger Russet has what I refer to as an avocado bod. An avocado bod is when a kitten has an adorably avocado shaped tummy. And something that happens a lot is people assume that means that the kitten must have worms. Now, it's a pretty good instinct to assume that a kitten might have some kind of intestinal parasite because it is super common for them to have parasites. But it's important to know that that is not the only reason that a kitten might have a round tummy. Sometimes a round tummy just means that they are super healthy. So I wanted to do a video with these kittens because these kittens really have the ideal kitten body type. They're super duper healthy and they have this nice soft abdomen that is quite chunky, but it's really, really soft and tender. This is what a kitten's meant to feel like. Um, they should feel really squishy and they should have a lot of chunk in there. Here's his sister. You can see she's got a nice little avocado bod too. Super nice and squishy. She does not have any parasites. And I know that because she's been fecal tested. And so this is a really good kitten shape. Avocado shape is good. Eggplant shape is good. What we want to avoid is a kitten being shaped like a water balloon, like a really dramatic circle. Now with young kittens like Ranger Russet, their abdominal muscles are not very strong yet. And so they can look like they have that pot belly look to them. Um, that is really common in kittens. And it's just because they don't have very strong abdominal muscles yet, but they do have a lot of that nice baby fat. Oh, look at that. So I thought I would do a tummy tour of all my foster kittens to show you that it's okay if a kitten does have a chunky body, but what you wanna look for is that their poop is really good, they've been dewormed, and they feel nice and squishy. Now, the only way to know if your kitten has worms or some other kind of GI parasite is to do a fecal test. And so I highly recommend that you do that for any kitten you're concerned about. But I will say there are some telltale signs. Like if a kitten has good poop and a squishy tummy, I'm less worried about them than if they have a really distended tummy or a lot of bloating or if they have diarrhea or constipation. So you saw what these kittens tummies looked like. These guys are super duper healthy, but now I wanna show you some kittens whose tummies don't look very good. So this is an example of a round belly that is not ideal, okay? This is Kookaburra. And this is a very, very distended belly. You can see this is a very hard belly. When I touch it, it's very firm. He's super duper bloated. And this poor kitten seems very uncomfortable. Okay, so sometimes a nice chunky belly is a good thing, but on this, it feels like a really full water balloon. This is not a healthy belly. So in this kitten's case, um, we did a fecal on him and he has gnarly coccidia. So he is being treated for that. And hopefully this belly is going to go down soon. Here is another example of a non-ideal kitten belly, okay? This is a very fluffy kitten. This is ostrich and he also has coccidia so you can see he's super distended looks and feels like a water balloon anytime that you feel like there's like tightness to the belly like that definitely a sign of something going on talk to your veterinarian get a fecal done that's not that's not a normal feeling belly poor buddy 
Here is Miriam, and she is a great example of a non-ideal kitten belly. You can see she's like little up here, and then it goes out to the sides. Big, distended, bloated belly. Now she's a little bit softer, but she's still bloated. So, oh, and she just farted. Great. Thanks for that. <laughs> so she's clearly got some issues going on, right? Yes. Um, she is on a antibiotic and anti-inflammatory medication that should soon help with that. <laughs> okay, so here is Tyndall, and he has a really good kitten belly. You can see that he's really squishy. When you feel him, he feels nice and squishy and comfortable. And he doesn't have that kind of like low round belly. He's shaped almost more like a eggplant. So it's just nice, slow rounding of the belly rather than that um, exaggerated psh, water balloon look. So this is a really good, healthy looking kitten belly. Yeah. So now you've seen some examples of some not so great chunky tummies and some perfect chunky tummies. The whole point is don't be concerned just because a kitten has a chunky tummy. It might be a really good sign that they're just eating really well. But if you're seeing any other symptoms like bloating where the abdomen is super hard and distended, or if you're seeing diarrhea, or if you're seeing other medical symptoms, obviously that could be a sign that something is going on. So if you're concerned about a kitten's tummy, best thing of course is to go to a veterinarian. There are so many reasons a kitten can have a chunky tummy. They could have a disease like FIP, they could have parasites, or they could just be really well fed. You guys are perfect. Who's got a chunky tummy? I got a chunky tummy. Who's got a chunky tummy? I got a chunky tummy.